Hello, hello, and welcome back to TGTV. And more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my electric car. The shame of turning up to Joe Macari in an electric car is uh, is unbearable, so I'm hiding at the back here. Before we kick off with today's video, this video was once again proudly brought to you with Squarespace. From online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the perfect place to build a beautiful website and run your business. Now, I know loads of you out there, particularly my following, are all into business, startups, and starting their own thing. If you ever thought of starting a website, make sure your go-to place is Squarespace and use my link below because you get a discount on your site. Squarespace has got loads of amazing tools, meaning that you can log on, set up an account, get going with ease, where you've got beautiful templates, which enable you to build a beautiful website super, super quick, super efficiently, and that works unbelievably well. There's loads of tools within that, allowing you to set up subscription models, send out beautiful marketing emails, mobile optimize your site, and also optimize your SEO as well, along with a whole host of other incredible features, enabling you to build that perfectly executed, beautiful, but efficient, and ruthlessly effective website. Make sure Squarespace is your go-to place when you're setting up a site, hit the link below, Use my code, save some money, happy building, happy creating, keep in touch with what you create, and let's go kick off the video inside at Joe McCurry. So let's go. Right then, we are back in a very familiar place. I got told off last time I was here, very recently, because I didn't feature the Laugh Ferrari. Some of you actually got quite aggressive with me in the comments, so I didn't feature the Laugh. So let's feature that, and then we're going to get on to the main topic of today's video, an absolute holy grail car for me, a car that... I keep saying if I make proper money, but you need to make proper, proper money to get one of these Singer DLS. So let's get into it. Here she is then. The laugh that I didn't feature in my last video. Pretty much everything in here is the same as it was before, but this laugh uh, was here, but I didn't go into it. So here we go. I think this is, look at that, that's the charger. Buzzing away down there. This is one of the only laughs in the world but is stripped out, does not feature a stereo, would you believe? But I don't think there's anything better, really, that Ferrari have made in the past 20 years than a laugh. They are just the absolute ultimate. I would love a black one of these. Oh, they're just the absolute nuts. And Joe McCurry have clients that have done serious, serious miles on these. Apparently, they're actually very, very usable cars, which appeals to me greatly. Obviously, you've got the electric assisted V12 in the back there. It's just one of the best looking cars ever built, actually. Anyway, I'll keep dreaming. One car I do actually want to just show you before we get into the main meat of the video is this. It's a 599 HGTE that's just come in. It is a right-hand drive car, but it's got the all-important HGT package, which is the handling GT pack, which is known as being the thing to have with these cars. You've got better dynamics and you've also got things like carbon bucket seats and these incredible split wheels. It's had an annual service from a Ferrari dealer every single year from new and inside. You've obviously got those carbon bucket seats, which I mentioned, but it's full carbon as well. Proper, proper piece of kit. And if you're after a 599, this is the one you want. That is stonking that's literally just come in it's not on their website at the point i'm filming this um, and i know there are people after this particular setup of 599 so if you're after one be quick that is hoofing what a piece of kit anyway we are here to talk about this This is what we're all here to see. This is literally just landed at Joe McCurry. It is a customer's car and he's just about to take delivery of it. So I thought I'd come and film a little video, obviously with full consent. So you're looking at the best part of several million pounds worth of Singer DLS. Obviously we all know Singer cars. We know that they've been around for a little while. We know there's an enormous waiting list. We know there are an enormous amount of money, but this is on another level. This is the DLS, which was actually a partnership some way with Williams and various other contributors, which has all contributed to this, which is the most extreme and most expensive car that they produce. So let's get into the details. 
So Singer have been working on tired old 964s and transforming them into incredible cars for the best part of a decade now. But not content with that, three clients commissioned special cars with more extreme power and weight targets. And to meet them, Singer has enlisted the services of Williams Advanced Engineering, the consultancy arm of the Grand Prix Group and famed Porsche engine designer Hans Metzger with further input from Michelin, BBS and Brembo. These cars actually are modified at the Williams Grove base in Oxfordshire and that is actually being dubbed Singer at Grove. So a very, very collaborative affair. So Williams Advanced Engineering has undertaken a dynamics and lightweighting study, which is what DLS actually stands for on behalf of Singer. The results of which were confidentially presented to 75 of Singer's best customers. So there's only going to be 75 of these ever built. And this is one of them, a rare right-hand drive car. There are so many details, which I want to show you. Let's start with the externals then. Subtle modifications are being made to the original Singer 964 that they've been producing, but there are a lot of underbody and surface modifications being done as well to reduce drag on this car. So many trick pieces of aero, and it's actually been developed not only by Williams, but also Norbert Singer, the engineer heavily involved in many of Porsche's Le Mans winning cars back in the day. So some serious heritage, but everywhere you look, that's cool error. I mean, look at that scoop there in the side. It's ridiculous. Even that ducktail is it more extreme than we've ever seen before. Everywhere you look, there's vents, folds, louvres. It's just absolutely unbelievable. It's a work of art. It really is. Well, usual Singer is no run-of-the-mill car, but the suspension even on this has been made lighter and more adjustable with altered geometry and special dampers by competition specialist EXE-TC. I mean, I've never heard of them, but I am assuming they are absolutely unbelievable. And the reason I haven't heard of them is because I'm not really there yet. So on each corner, then, you've got these stunning wheels shod on bespoke Michelin Cup 2 tyres, developed specifically for this car. And you've got centre-locked, forged magnesium wheels by BBS with bespoke Brembo brakes behind there as well. And interestingly, that center lock setup there, I think it's from the 997 RSR race car and, as if by magic, please excuse any noises you hear, that is actually my shoes on the floor, not anything else, not flatulence, but actually got the same center lock setup as on the Carrera GT, which is actually right next to this car here. But that, even the wheel, you could hang on your wall in your house, look at that, that is absolutely beautiful. Whilst I'm down here though, it's just everywhere you look, it's just an opportunity to see a new piece of aero and how this car channels the air around is absolutely unbelievable. It's so, so, so cool. Total weight for this car is under a ton, which is obscene, nothing produced brand new is less than a ton these days and inside attention to detail and beautiful singer touches continue. It's obviously got a manual gearbox and actually the gearbox itself is a lightweight six speed construction by Hewland and features plenty of magnesium in its build. As always with Singer, every single detail is completely customizable. The dials, the stitching, the numerals on the dials, the steering wheel, the piping, the seat shape, the seat color, absolutely everything. And the seats in here are a partnership with Recaro specifically for Singer. In the back here, you've got a roll cage with a motif on there. No back seats in this one. Although you can take the roll cage out by the looks of it and sit people in there. Not sure if you're supposed to really be doing that and whether or not you'd probably remove the roll cage on this and you wouldn't go for the DLS if you didn't want a roll cage and a stripped out hardcore variant. This is absolutely beautiful, this spec, triple air white paint. You've got it all flat there. And as we all know and love from singers, the fuel cap in the center of the bonnet there. That's almost a signature. And they've carried that over from the standard singer cars into the DLS. Your headlights are specifically built for Singer. They are not the original units from Porsche. They are specifically built by Singer and they look just right. Perfect blend of modern and classic, which is what Singer do so, so well. Right, now for the main event. Let's go and check out the engine. Let's pop this flap up, see what's underneath. 
So the engine, which starts out as a standard 1993.6, is worked over with four valve heads, titanium conrods, aluminium throttle bodies, carbon intake trumpets, a bespoke carbon airbox, fuel injection with twin injectors, a ram air induction system fed by inlets at the rear side windows, and a ludicrously lightweight exhaust system in Inconel and titanium. Save the best till last, then this is the bit that you all want to see. And this really is a lot of wear the money goes for this car. I believe it was about two and a half X tax. So you're looking at the best part of three million great British pounds for this car. I believe this engine is probably half a million plus of that. So as you can see, it's developed with Williams Advanced Engineering. And actually, as I said before, as in Oxfordshire, their kind of Singer Grove plant, you've got the lead engineer's name on there, John McGee and as it says on there is a four litre four valve flat six revving to just over 9,000 rpm it of course goes through this incredible Inconel exhaust system and at the risk of getting told off I'm not going to fire it up I don't have uh, enough limit on my business insurance to do anything wrong to this car I'm staying well away from it I didn't even open the engine cover on it it's not my car I got one of the lovely team here to touch it. It's not my car, it's a customer car, and actually the first right-hand drive customer car in the entire world. So a very, very rare piece of kit. It's worth more than my future, and I just feel lucky to have been able to see it. I had to share this car with you all. I had to come down and see it as soon as it got dropped off here. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this little tour around this incredible piece of kit and probably one of the last ones I'll ever see. There's only going to be 75 of these cars. I don't know how many right-hand drive cars there are going to be, but I suspect not many at all. Very, very, very cool. Right guys, that concludes my little tour of the Singer DLS. I just thought I'd run around it. I couldn't resist the opportunity to come see it, so I thought I'd whip the camera out. Uh, one thing you'll notice, I haven't actually showed you underneath the bonnet there, or the front trunk, the frunk even. Um, it's got the owner's uh, personalized plaque in there, so I didn't bother opening that up and showing you because uh, the owner didn't want his name banded around all over the internet, which is very, very understandable. Absolutely incredible piece of kit, and there's so much more to this car that I haven't covered. For now, thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe, and as always, hit the link in the pin comment. It supports me, it supports the channel, and you get yourself a very special deal on something that is fantastic from a great supporter of my channel. For now, I'll see you all very soon. Bye.